So we're feeling buggy today because we're talking about what happens to gauze, all those fun issues, really tiny eyes, really big eyes behind the lenses. What causes that? Can you do anything about it? Well, mm, somewhat, but let's look at more of the why and what, and maybe you'll figure out what we can or can't do about it. So if you're new here, I'm gonna start off with asking you to subscribe to the channel. If this is the kind of thing you're interested in, if not, save us both the trouble and don't do that. Yeah, so. But what we're gonna talk about today, as I mentioned initially, is what causes those really big bug eye effect in glasses or that whole lot of magnification that causes those really crazy beady looking eyes or, you know, if you get far enough away, the beady everything. My whole head is shrunk. <laughs> because magic, right? Voodoo, that's what causes all this. So what is actually behind that is just the physics of the lens and what is needed to make those powers. Plus lenses, minus lenses, different shapes, different physics, different problems. And what's really funny is actually, we can almost neutralize that if I had the right power. That's really weird to look through. Let's see if you can get that effect there. Yeah, that's fun. It's not too far off if you're right in the center. But, yeah. Mm. Plus lenses, as we know, make things bigger because your eye naturally makes things smaller. You can say far away, okay, but not up close. But if you have enough plus power and it's sitting far enough away from the eye, you get this kind of bug eye thing going on and we've seen it, the plus nine prescription or plus 12 or plus eight or whatever. The further that sits away from the eye, the more magnification you get. Now this can be minimized a few other ways just by the physical design of the lens. You can change the amount of magnification, but only so much. It is still, we're limited by physics and creating the power needed for the lens. Like in the case here, we've got about a plus eight so even right there where my glasses are, you can see we still get a pretty decent bit of magnification and I'm gonna take these away just to make it fair. So, you know, you can tell it's definitely still increasing the size of my eye. And if we move that even just right there as close as I can possibly get it, and this is literally pressing in on my face and rubbing my eyelashes and everything else, it's still there and don't ignore that. Ignore that shift, please, because that is just from surely the size of the blank. I can't get in the optical center and hold this in front of my eye. So you're gonna get some prismatic shift there. That's another story. We're not gonna get into that today, but that is why it's important to have lenses properly fitted to you so you don't see really weird bad things happening just from that lens being in the wrong place. You can see that image moves dramatically as we get away from that center. And with stronger powers, that is a bigger problem. So as I mentioned for the plus lenses, the fact is the same for the minus lenses, but let's take a look at one of those while we're at it. So this guy here is a minus six, nothing too crazy. I know a lot of people with that kind of a range of power. And in fact, most of what I work with is around a minus five to about a minus 10. It's just what I see for whatever reason. Far enough away, we get enough minification that there's a whole other me in here. If only I could clone that guy to do some work. <sighs> so we know this one isn't. He's too busy recording videos and crazy stuff all day long just for fun. Look at his funsies, right? Now with the minus lenses, it's a little bit different because even sitting in front of the eye, and I really have to focus here so you get one eye for a moment so I can power through this one lens so I can see what's going on. Now, with the minus, as it's further away from the eye, you can see we get a smaller and smaller image. And same thing, as we get away from center, that image shifts to either side of the lens, which is what causes a lot of what people see as glasses being too big for minus prescriptions. It isn't always. It's actually just the prismatic shift of this lens driving that image inwards. Fun stuff, right? Now that's not actually driving the image inwards, but I'm not gonna bore you with the details of prism and bases and image deviation today. That's another day, another video. I think we've already done that actually. 
Yeah, we'll throw that card up here if I did. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways. Now, as I mentioned, it is down to the physics of lenses, but as you saw, as we get further away and as we get closer, it does reduce that problem. I also mentioned there is a way to change the amount of minification and magnification, both via thickness and via the curvature of the lens. So you can add more curvature here, reduce that thickness at the center as far as you can. There are limits in the US. We can only cut it depending on the lens material between 1.2 to about 2.1 millimeters. And again, it depends on the lens material. 1.2 is probably still pushing it for most labs. Some will cut it that thin, but very, very few in the US in particular. You see it on occasion, but not very often. In general, it's gonna be closer to 1.5 for that starting minimum thickness. And that's all you can do with the minus. So there's only so far you can go. This is just a stock minus five, minus six. Yeah, stock minus six and one, six, seven material. And this is one thing that you'll find pretty interesting, or at least I think is interesting. Everyone thinks as you go up in refractive index and you change the curvature that way, that you are going to reduce the minification or the magnification. And that's just not true. You would initially think so because you're reducing the thickness of the lens, but you're only reducing the thickness of the lens because you're increasing the rate at which light changes passing through the lens. And there's your little golden nugget for the day because then your changes to make the magnification or the minification less are having less effect because now less thickness is required. You have less to work with, but it's still gonna do the same thing. So really, without jumping into the high index, particularly in plus lenses, we have more there to work with. Now, that's not to say it ultimately gives you more, because it doesn't always. Depending on the frame, we don't have enough room to really cut that thickness down in the regular plastic lens. So even though the thickness cuts down in the higher refractive index, it's still changing light at the same rate as that thicker CR lens. So there's a lot to play with. There's a lot to keep in mind. The biggest thing we have control over is reducing that distance away from the eye. You can get a pair of glasses that fits as close as possible up to the eyes. Obviously, you don't want it rubbing on the brow line, the cheeks, or rubbing up against those eyelashes just for cleanliness sake. It's really hard to keep a pair of glasses clean when they're doing that. If they're not clean, you can't see good out of them, you're just not gonna wear them. So then it's not doing anybody any good, no matter how cosmetically pleasing it may have ended up or not. Most likely or not. Now you've just got a whole other set of problems to deal with on top of that. Now, had I taken the time to have some lenses custom ground to really show this off, and maybe we'll do that another time, focus on the plus on one video, and minus it on another video, and do some different curves and thicknesses so you can actually see that at work in the same power. Could be fun, could not be fun could be very fun. Now, actually, I see we do have a little bit of shift here as we get away from that. So I can get this a little bit closer and you can see here, that's not a ton, considering we've got a plus eight lens over here, that's not a huge amount of magnification. Now, again, just the sheer size of this blank lens, it is touching all the way around through here and then kind of clears up from there on. That gets the magnification down pretty good without changing anything else. You can imagine when we start compounding these factors and getting everything where it goes and not messing with light and causing really weird things. There it is, there's the focal point. That's a plus eight. For your fun fact for the day, a minus eight neutralizes that. Somebody that's eyes a minus eight can focus that close away. More fun nuggets for the day. Now, I imagine most of you are either swimming or floating or really, really confused at this point. I could go on for another 10, 15 minutes pretty easily, especially if I had other lenses to show you. But these are all I have handy. Sorry. Now, if you have more questions, definitely let me know down in the comments below or you know, if you're one of those people with the bug eye glasses, have, has anybody ever tried to 
guide you into something that works better? Or has it always been a problem and you just didn't know there was anything you could do about it and this is just, this is what I get and that's how it is. I'm always curious to know these things. So let me know your thoughts, maybe what your glasses are like and experience with that has been for you higher plus and higher minus people. And let's talk about it because that's all the talking I'm going to do for now. I'll catch you guys next time.